All right, just going to play some uh, Elden Ring further. So last time I got to Radan, I haven't, uh, I haven't fought him at all, but uh, that's where I'm at. So I want to talk to all these dudes. But as far as I know, this guy up here might make. Uh, oh, actually, he's on that side. He might make some sort of speech. So we'll see how that goes. I just want to turn on my chat thing. Okay, cool. I guess this guy's not talking and making a speech. I did make some test recordings or earlier, so I wondered, I'm not sure if uh, to see if I can up my quality a bit, but I'm still waiting for them to be high res to see if there's a difference because YouTube. Like there's a lot of like random hidden setting settings like all over the place, and if depending if you're not like the studio or the normal like YouTube view, some of the settings are different or hidden or whatever. So there's like different um, processing things. There's like a V1 I think one, and then there's like a V, or is it VL1? I don't know. I, I don't know what, but it's different compressors, and I want to see if I can try use one that might make my video quality a bit better so I made some test to stream like uh, recordings earlier just to see if one works better than the other but I'm waiting for the high res definition to process um, other than that I've like been using this Wyander it's like a fucking good weapon I'm doing like a faith bolt I'm level 70 almost and uh, I'm using a sacred Wyander Ash of War thing. So let's talk to this guy. Hmm. Thought I might find you here. I must admit, I was a little worried. We missed our meeting. But it looks like you're still in one piece, eh? You must have heard by now, right? That Star Skull Dredan holds Rani's fate in stasis. But once he's out of the way, it will spring back into motion. So now. We stand against the demigod once known as the strongest of them all. The way ahead is pleasingly simple. We fight, sword and fang. Into the fray together, eh? Hmm. Let's see what you're made of. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so this person, polite bow. Do they just like not talk? Did I get like a buff from this? Wonder. Champion! Oh shit. Welcome! The stars have aligned! The festival is nigh! General Radan, mightiest demigod of the shattering, awaits you! Champions! Prepare for battle! Defeat the general! Claim glory and grab that great rune. A celebration of war. The Radan Festival. Okay, cool. Sounds fancy. Let's talk to this guy first. Ah, you came. How delightful. Indeed, I thought I might find you here. By the by. Do you know for whom this festival is being held? Well, it is none other than General Radan himself. To think I could face a great champion of the Shattering, a demigod in the flesh. Oh, God. In truth, I quiver at the thought. Such is his frightful repute. But the fear simply assures me the ordeal is worth undertaking. Be sure to get a good vantage, my friend. I, Iron Fist Alexander, do hereby vow to unflinchingly brave this ordeal. <laughs> Be sure to get a good eye. Okay, cool. Last time I did this, like, this is my second playthrough, so... I have played through the game before. Um, so the last time I did this, I did summon all the guys. But I think I want to try fighting without summoning them and see how that goes. If there's, like, a difference at all. Um, I 
Okay, well, let's talk to this guy, I guess. Are you good and prepared, young chum? The <laughs> festival begins. Sure. Before we begin, allow me to paint you the full picture. It's quite epic. General Radan is cursed ever to wander. Side by Melania's scarlet rot, his wits are long gone. <laughs> now he gathers the corpses of four friends and foes alike, gorging on them like a dog. Sky. But now we must make merry. <laughs> oh, gathering of champions! The revels begin! The celebration of war! The Radan Festival! I actually wanted to try this sword. I also have this uh, flamberge. Seems relatively same, similar size, but it says it's like just a great sword. It's not. You will find the field of battle past the church ahead, upon the shore under the fort. General Radan is there, even now, divested of his wits, devouring corpses, and howling at the sky. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I was thinking of trying this sword and maybe make it like a sacred one too because it has a bleeding effect which the Swyander doesn't have so I might try that at some point um, I'm gonna try the Swyander first see how that goes and then uh, if I do get like really fucked up and struggle to beat him I might try the Flamberge Flamberge <laughs> oh there's an item there it's an interesting church. Smithing stone six, nice. What's this? It's like a woman with a pause. Oh, I actually can't open this door, weird. It's cool music. Some Gregorian chant type stuff. I've just been leveling Vigor for quite a while now, so I'm quite tanky. Because it's like the game actually allows you to, like, you get like 47 or something HP per, like, point of Vigor. So it's like it hasn't really diminished yet. So I've just been, like, leveling it. I think it's on, like, 43 now. I could probably use a Rune Arc to even boost it even more if I really wanted to. Let's see. Let's see, he's shooting arrows at me. Shoom! <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Alright. I don't really know his moves very well. Oh! does a ton of damage, holy right? shit. I don't like this Wyander like on the horse, I think it's like uh, too slow. Jamie's like tiny horses. 
<laughs> Looks like it's like really struggling. Ah, uh, fuck, I missed. It's like really awkward to fight him uh, on the horse, but it's also like, it seems to be like the better way to do it though. It's a great sword, but it is an ex- <laughs> It is an excellent sword. fight without like summoning the rest of the people and it's like awkward on the horse as well because like I said those the y and isn't really made for the doesn't feel like it's made for the horse so I need to actually learn out of how his moves work so I can just try dodge him
think charge up, man. It's just I had to get used to the fact that it could one-shot me, but like once I could avoid that, it was okay, I think. We're done, great run, cool. Oh, nice. was made on the map. Cool. Whoa, 70,000 rounds. <laughs> I used all my potions. Okay, let me rest first. Wow, look at the man. That's so cool. Okay, so I'm losing, it only goes up at 26 now, so this is kind of like, I guess I have reached a, like a, like a cap or whatever. I'm going to take up my faith, I think, to 35, maybe 40, and then I'll probably take up strength after that. Maybe endurance, I haven't leveled endurance, like, at all. Like, I've, I haven't felt like I've needed stamina throughout the whole game. It's like... It, I think this game is very lenient on the stamina like requirements of your like um, attacks. So it's like it doesn't feel like you need stamina as heavily as in dark other like Dark Souls games. 
At least that's my opinion of it. Um, I'm level 69. Nice. Number for me and you. Okay, let me talk to this guy. Ah, good. I was waiting for you. Oh, what a sick way to fight, eh? The glory of the clash is shared. By Radan. And you. And how <laughs> did you see that afterwards? A falling star right before our eyes. I can't fathom how Radan was holding back something of that scale. He was a living legend if ever I saw one. And the path has now been cleared. To Nokra, where Rani's fate will be decided. Let's meet where the falling star bit the earth. We'll take up our souls once more for Mistress Rani. Let's meet where the falling star will go into my okay, only purpose cool. is to I'll fight curtains wise. Um, I think there's the pot guy there, I was going to say. I don't know what other item, I didn't actually look at what other item. Oh, uh, it's probably his remembrance thing. Don't think I've read this one. No, I did. Okay, so. So I haven't read this one, obviously. The Red Line General wielded gravitational powers, which he learned in Celia during his younger days. Also, he would never have to abandon his beloved by but scrawny steed. <laughs> okay. Cool. Um, let's check the ruin. Oh, uh, I haven't awakened it yet. Did I read this one? Yeah, I think I did. One, two. Uh, so I can't read this until the. Okay, well, let me talk to this pot dude. Ah, oh, hello there. Um, it was a battle marvelously fought. You are well and truly a champion, friend. I, on the other hand, am nothing but a crock. One hit was all it took to crack me. And for my insides to come spilling out. After that, I, I hid like a coward. And as such, I can hardly stand to face one such as you. You need to get yourself a Zion in room. <sighs> but don't you think I've given up just yet? As luck would have it, there's a veritable mountain of warriors' bodies right here. If I can just squeeze this bunch down inside me, I'll be a mighty warrior again in no time. And you know, the bodies found here are exceedingly fine. Who could expect any less from the very warriors who fought in the Shattering? The greatest of all wars. Mm. Just you wait and see, friend. I'll grow even stronger. Just you wait when next we meet. <laughs> <laughs> The bodies found here are exceedingly fine. Who could expect any less from the very warriors who fought in the shack? <laughs> Just you wait. <laughs> okay, cool. If I remember correctly, this did I have I been there? Oh, okay, so that's where I was. Cool. Let me pick up my zero runes. Just so it's not like on oh here it is. If I remember correctly, there was a there was actually a dungeon like on this side over here. So I actually just want to find that before I move on. And there's still a lot of places I haven't been in um, in Kaled. So I might explore that a bit more before I move to um, before I go to the next area. There's a ship in the distance. Yeah, it's like such a big open area where you can like fight that guy. It's crazy. It's like a wasteland. Don't know if there's anything else here. Can't see any like items or anything like that. I 
I think this was quite a difficult dungeon though, if I remember correctly. Like the level, the enemies were like very much higher level. At least when I was here, my first playthrough. It was like the, yeah, they were like ghost type enemies of uh, the Scarlet Rot Knights and Radon's like knights. I guess I need to go to the Kaelid Tower as well to restore the dance room. Yeah, there we go. That's okay. It's just the Scarlet Rot dudes. Ah, I got a thousand experience from these. It's quite heavy. There's this, the levers up there. Oh, that good thing. So here's the gate. Oh shit. Whoa, it does a ton of damage. Yeah, so these guys actually feel like they're high level. It's interesting because parts of Kaelid feel like like I'm out leveled it. I've out I've out leveled it. But then other parts of Kaelid like this feel like I'm like too low level for it. So it's like a weird mix of high level and low level stuff. <laughs> Looks like some archer. So he was shooting shit. Oh, uh, fuck. Miss. He did not miss. I guess I could have rushed him there. Yeah, he's got a big fucking bow. Smack beach. Ah, uh, that's a cheap fucking trick, bro. So much damage. So it's like they're high level, but they're still like relatively easy enemies. So what's this about? See, there's a statue there. Doesn't look like there's a ledge there, so maybe I have to jump down there to get to like a different, like hidden sort of part or something. I like the splatter effects that they have, like the blood splat splatter and stuff. When I was rewatching the part I did, uh, I was like kind of paying attention to that. I think it's like pretty cool. Okay, so these are like just militia men. There's another window I can jump through here. Is it kind of, oh, it is in the same room. Okay, I see there's an imp there. Okay, so there's like some big room there that I can go to. Behind me as well. Yeah. There's 
was another night there at the end. Oh, Jesus. That was lucky. <laughs> Oh, and this is the back of the statue, okay, cool. I was down here then. Uh, it's just another one of the knights. Ah, uh, but he's got a spear there. Let me use my philosophy for this thing. Look like he's weak against Hurley. I wonder if there's a chance of them like dropping their sort of armor and stuff. Ah, so this is just like a dead end. I guess I have to, like, jump through the window then. Interesting. Um, okay. Oh, wait, so I'm actually on top of, like, a ledge now. See, there's some gargoyles up there. And over here. Oh, I should there's not much of that. Yo, these gargoyles are like a high level asshole. Huh? other caves that look similar and then they were secret walls. So I could probably ignore those ones. Uh, shit. What about this one? Radon Soldier's Ashes. Cool. I don't really use the, the sort of summon stuff, but it's fine. It's, they're good for like lore as well, like just to read the little bits and stories about their... Oh, uh, you know what, this is the archer that was on the other side of the main room. I just want to throw him off, honestly. Okay, so here's the, the new room. Right So it's not a very big cave, because it's in right over there, it's just like the enemies in here are very strong. Or at least they're, they're higher level enemies. I think I should go back and level up because I've gotten like quite a bit of experience now. I 
like that you can knock knock them down if you don't if you choose not to use the the crit. I think that's what makes like sort of heavy weapons the like good. Okay, that means level up. I should be able to level up. It's a very good place to like farm XP. Like, jeez. Okay, I'll probably just... Oh, no, actually, is this is a wall. No. Um, okay, I'll probably just run past these dudes to go fight the boss. I could go down there as well in the Scarlet Rot area. I think it's fine. actually you know so this is like an awkward enemy to fight to begin with I'll try him a few times but if I get like dick too much then I'm gonna probably just move on and come back here because now I could just run past everything and fight him like straight up so it's not too bad That's so too low for this dude. Hey, don't rest around tarnished. Hey, man. I remember you, the One Piece guy. I think I need to come back here. I think I'm too weak for, for this area. So I think I'll just mark this as a... <laughs> like a skull or something. Okay, cool. So it's, uh... Oh, wait. No, so that's not... That's not where the skull should be. 
Should be like over here, so. I thought it was the other side, so I need a map here still. Oh, there's the map there. Wait, but this is the Sea of Farewell. So how do I get over here? Oh, I suppose I can go from over here. Maybe uh, across here. But I think there's some other areas I haven't like checked out here either. Like I haven't gone into this, I haven't been over here. So yeah, let me check that out actually. Caleb. Um, guess I should mark it on the map. So I can see where. Oh, uh, there is the. the cross. But uh, that's a bit of a drop. Uh, and I need to also empower Radon's rune. Wait, is this a... Is this a different... What? But it's so close to the other one, that's so weird. That's crazy. Swamp of Ionia. Oh, there's a dude over here. Oh. Let me see it, if only one last time. Your splendid blade dancing amongst the scarlet rot. Okay. I wonder if if that's like a Radon reference or if that's a Melania reference. Oopsie. Oh, okay, so these guys are much weaker than that boss. Yeah, it's like a, such a stark like, difference, wow. Yeah, there's a tower up there that I need to... for the ruin. I think I'll check out over here first. Wait, I could hear something here. Is that just... Oh, it's just bones. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, it's a statue on the way. Street of Sages Ruin. Traveler's everything and perfume bottle. Oh, okay. It's crazy. These like puffs of cloud things like annoy me because it's like you can't really fight them when they do that. Still find it a bit jar like jarring like how just weak does these things are compared to that dungeon I just did now. Or try to do. Meteorite stuff. Okay. What's that about? Staff embedded with dark purple clinstone, said to be the fragment of a meteorite. Boasts high sorcery scaling and boosts gravity sorceries as well. However, the staff cannot be strengthened in any way. Ah. Oh, but it has an S scaling with intelligence. Huh. Okay, that's... I wonder if that's actually good or bad. Hmm. 
curious. So I'm not using spells at the moment, but I, I did want to try use some of the dragon powers, but uh, I still haven't found the dragon. I think there's one over here, like up here somewhere, if I remember correctly, but because the first dragon church that you go to only had three powers and they seemed like kind of meh. Like I learned one of them, but it's so slow and it costs. And it wasn't like super overpowered either, so it's like, uh, uh cool, yes, yeah, so. uh, get off the horse. <laughs> uh, that's cheap. It's strange that the chest is sideways like this. Rock sling. Okay, I guess that's just a spell. Oh shit. Oh shit. Should have soap though. Cool. Well, that seemed to have worked. Okay, so I found this. I think there's a cave where you can teleport, get like trapped in over here somewhere. Like right at the start, but I like rolled away from the dust. Because I didn't really want to do the cave so early on. And then Celia, Town of Sorceries, is over here as well. It's one of these dudes. Sacramental Bud. It's like a limited edition American brew. It doesn't seem like there's anything else in this area. But it's a big beetle. <laughs> Hi. Did he damage me? Okay, so he just still just kind of replenishes your potion. Oh, okay, there's a lot of explosions there. Oh, wait. Does this go in... Oh, I think it does. So it goes to this... See, I'll throw, like... Yeah, I think that's where that goes. Oh, I see there was a Statue of America there as well. See, I'm sure there's a something in here, so I should probably go there. Oh, shit, I can near one of these things. Um, okay, let's see if I can get it. Let's believe in the force. Oh, wait, it's going the other way now. So this one not follow a path. Oh, wait, it's coming around. Fuck, I missed. So if I stand over here, I might be able to get him, like, to go past twice. Fuck. Ah, 
swimming. Yes. Poison armament. Cool. What does that do? Is that like a spell? Oh, it is. It's an incantation. Enchant's right hand armament of poison. Okay. Those who dwell within poison know rocked all too well the death that begets life that comes to all equally. That is to say, it is the cycle of rebirth, but into put into practice. Okay. I'm sure there's supposed to be like a waypoint over here. Ah, got shot. Yeah, I think here by Celia this, if I remember correctly. Ah, where did the dog come from? Ah, there it is. Just wanted to get this. It's Stop by the shack beyond the southern gate. Okay, so it's like that way. Okay. Playing combat music, so I guess I'm still getting attacked by this dog. Jesus Blade. Um, southern Gate. This is the Southern Gate, so I guess it's like over here somewhere. Just mark it on the map so I don't forget it. That guy was like playing a little bit blue, so I thought maybe he dropped like something special. Doesn't look like it though. Rune arc. Don't think I've used any rune arc yet. I do have Godric's rune equipped, but I like I haven't used it yet. Is this just a mana one or if you know, it looks like a mana one? Oops. <laughs> Fuck. This Best accuracy in the world. Okay, that's okay. Oh, uh, so it's like. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, there's another. Man, they're not shy with, like, uh, sides of grace here. Maybe they've learned from like uh, Blight Town or something that people find like poison areas frustrating to deal with. Um, how do I get into this thing? I guess I just run in. Oh, yes, here's the guy here. Thought I remember him. Commander O'Neill. I'm sure that's a reference to Stargate SG1. <laughs> I should actually kill these, like. Archer dudes. This is why Ender's like so slow on horseback. I can't remember if this area has, has Scarlet Rot in it. No, it doesn't look like it does. See? Very big delay there. Oh shit, this guy has Scarlet Rot. So. Oh, I thought I would interrupt. Fuck. Yo, this, he's got like poise for days. I 
This is quite a big, uh, no, fuck, fuck. Man, <laughs> I wanted to, I, I got a crit off on him, but I couldn't uh, get it. So these stupid X guys. I ran out of stamina as well. Oh, that's nice, I did like a bit of splash damage. Should be able to get him. Okay, cool. No, it's not too difficult. But I think I'm a bit over leveled for this like area. Commander standard. That's cool. Unalloyed gold needle. Oh, okay. I think I needed that for. I haven't actually met the guy. I think it's the guy you meet over here. I think he's the one that tells you to get this needle. So I kind of jumped the gun a bit. The quest. I keep doing that though. Because it's like so easy to like miss NPCs and stuff in this game. Fuck's this. Oh, it's one of these clean rock knights. <laughs> I keep like missing. Let me just jump off the fucking horse. Oh shit. He's got holy blades too. Oh cool, I got his gauntlet. I think my weight is too heavy though. I should take up my endurance. So I don't think I'll be able to wear that. Yeah, it's heavy load. I can equip some better stuff, it seems. Godric's Knight Gauntlet. That's better in all ways. So I could probably wear that. There's a cave up here somewhere. Yeah, I think they're in the distance. So I'm gonna try to like, go there and see if I can... Uh, just go like go through it, whatever. Celia Crystal Tunnel, cool. suspicious looking oh uh, wow it's like if you get trapped here the, um, oh shit these things are still pain if you get trapped here it's like these things are so difficult that like when you're still like in the grave and stuff but coming back here like this it's like you just completely wreck them. Oopsie. Oh nice, Smith, smithing stone 5. I think I actually need these. Oh shit. Yeah, this is the hut you get sent to if you get trapped. Gravity stone chunk, gravity stone fan. Just checking if I'm missing anything. Ah, uh, shit, I'm out of reach. 
<laughs> <You fell down. laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh man. Missed. So like I remember I completely missed that you could actually go across here and then there's like a boss at the end of this cave. This I did it last time, but do I have to like jump up from? Maybe I have to just run across this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Like the gap seems a little bit too far, so I wasn't like too sure about it. Okay, Glenstein. Cuckoo Glenstein. Oh, okay. He's got a long, like, run. Here, post this like gate thing. Sombersmithing stand four. I mean, that would be coming handy if I ever change my weapon to one of the special weapons. Wait, so this is this up above now? I think. Oh, okay. Well, he fell down. <laughs> Blaster. I'm sure I got this before, so I might have two of those now. I definitely, I think I have enough um, to level my, unless I need like smithing stone six already. So I think my weapon's like level thirteen. I think there's a ladder. If I remember correctly, you could kick this ladder down because I died and then. At the boss. And then when I came back, I saw there was a fucking ladder here. Like, there's a shortcut. It's definitely not the best shortcut in the world, but I think the. It's much better than having to, like, jump across, like, the roof and stuff. Did I go that way? Uh, it's just a dead end. Oh, 
That's cheap. Oopsie, oopsie. These guys are annoying. Oh, uh, nice, another little force somber. See, they're doing some sort of altered prayer thing. What are they praying to? Huh. Faithful's canvas talisman. Raises potency of incantations. Oh, that's pretty good. A talisman bearing an icon that depicts a group of mosques figures raises potency of incantations. The figures represent the flock at prayer, their firm belief in the intangible inspiring even the solitary founder of their religion. What is faith if not an affirmation? Okay. That's cool. I guess they worship like the rot or whatever. Uh, this is a bus. It's a little bit annoying that there's not a statue of America like over here. Check it out. Let's see what it is. That's uh, one of those. Uh, okay, I'm quite strong for this thing. Uh, yeah, okay, it seems okay actually. Oh shit, it's actually doing a decent amount of damage there. Ah! Actually, get me, man. Oh, my God. Fuck. to fight man it's like their moves are like they keep like knocking around you also got a ton of stuff here somber smithing stone six smithing stone seven gravity stone chunk another one oh and another somber stone mining bell whatever bearing one so then i can buy somber smithing stones from the husk woman but uh i think eg Cells up to level four somber stones. So it's like I could already like buy those from him, I guess. Cool. Status sleep. Don't think I have enough to level up. Oh no, I do actually. Cool. Let's level up my faith more. Okay, now it's on 35. I wonder if I should bother taking it up. I guess I should take it up to 40, because I think that's the soft cap level. I'll see. It's like, I, I don't really need any stats, I think. Other than just having to, to like, upgrade my weapon and stuff. And maybe get uh, more endurance so I can carry heavier stuff 
So I think my defense is a bit low, like I have a lot of HP, but uh, my defense feels really low. Because I can't get there, because I think there's a mountain here. Okay, so let's go to Celia, Town of Sorceries. I think actually that's how you get to um, up there anyway. Because I think there's a gate you can open, if I remember correctly. So I need to talk to that dude. So this is one of the... Um, let me mark this one. Wait, is it going to disappear because I was right there? It's a little bit annoying. There we go. Maybe it's... No, it's fine. It's just... Because I know there's... I think there's three of these doors. And I remember last time... I got confused as to where the location of all the doors were. When I, like, dispelled the shield or whatever. No, um... Let me just use the... probably use that. There we go. Oh, here's the other one right here. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe there's more than... Maybe there's more than uh, three doors. Can actually get rid of this now too. I don't know if this marker is gonna work because it's like it covers like quite a large portion of the of the map. Let's see. Oh, is this one of those paintings? Oh, Red Man painting, cool. I think I know who that is. I think that's where you fight Radon. Oh, shit. What's this? Oh, wait. What? Marriott Soldier Bird Helm. That's interesting, I don't think I've ever found that. Where the hell is this guy attacking me from? Oh, there. Be gone. There's a dude over there. Where's this fucking guy? Oh, there he is. Oh, shit. <laughs> What the fuck? That was such good timing, like... Okay, I wanna go talk to the guy on the other side, on the other side. Oh, Bible Basher. Ah! I killed a, a squad of them. Is there anything up down here? 
So it's just a random statue of America here. Huh. Is there like a boss here? Or is this just outside? Uh, I think this is just outside. Okay. I think the guy's shack should be over here somewhere. There's a dog. It's like a guard dog. I wonder if he'll attack me if I just walk past him. No? Cool. <laughs> this guy looks like he's dead. It's like, you can talk to him, but look at him. He, like, literally just... Oh, he's actually turns his head. Like, what the fuck? What a weird way to just sit in this abandoned, like, shack. I guess it's raining. Oh, a pleasure to see you. A what pleasure a fucking indeed. creepy guy. I am Gary, a great sage. In my day, anyway. I'd hoped to ask a favor when one of your ilk came along. A strapping young tarnished, able to cross the scarlet swamp of Aeonia. Don't fret. I'll provide fine recompense. Should you accept, I will teach you the secret of Celia, the town you see there. Ah, then you are willing to lend a hand, are you? I need your help to heal a certain young girl. Her name is Millicent. You will find her beyond Celia, resting at the church atop the cliff. Stricken by the rotting sickness. Oh, you found the unalloyed gold needle. As promised, I've detailed the secret of Celia right here. Go on. It's yours. Celia's secret. Um, I feel like I skipped a bit of dialogue there because I found the needle before you asked me to find the needle. Now let me have a look at the needle. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Well, well, this <laughs> is a marvel indeed. The work of a true artisan, a meticulous, bold craftsman who grasps the essence of life. Can you give me some time with this? As well made as it is, it won't be much use snapped in half, will it? Can you give me as well made? Okay, I guess I need to rest at like a bonfire. I think there's one outside here. Oh, let's go look. The gate. Dragonfly. Um, I guess I should kill these guys because they're probably going to attack me. Oh my god. No, no, no. Calm down. Alright, ah, so this one is first. Oh, god. what the fuck? <laughs> what, what happened? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, so there's some fucking random shit attacking me from the other side. Oh, I see. This fuck thing. Where is this... Where is this fucking thing attacking me from? Oh, it's coming from... Oh, it's there. I see it's a giant up there. Troll. Okay. <laughs> okay. Cool. Um, well, I don't know if I can get up there now. Ah, oh, there's the there's grace thing there. Lost grace discovered. Okay, let me rest to see if I resets or whatever continues that guy's quest. Quest line. It's funny, these like big flowers, um, they kind of look like proteas, which 
I think, only grow in the Western Cape in South Africa. But they're not blooming, but they, that's kind of what they look like when they're, when they're closed. So it's like weird, because um, in Game of Thrones they use them as well as dragon flowers. And I was just like, ah, they're just proteas. <laughs> it's like, I think it's the national flower of South Africa. If I'm not mistaken. Because I think it only grows in the Western Cape. In uh, sort of around Cape Town. Because I think it needs a very specific like type of like almost Mediterranean type environment to grow. Oh no, the dog saw me. Bad dog. See, so I had like three colors on him. Let me step over this laser so I can get rid of it. I have awaited your return. The needle is repaired. Now it will forestall the rotting sickness, I'm sure. Will you give it to the girl, Millicent? I will reward you in kind. Unalloyed gold needle. Millicent rests at the church atop the cliff beyond Celia, the town yonder. Tended to by the witless pests who worship her, or rather her rotting sickness, as a god. A wretched fate, indeed. The poor girl, she never wished for any of this. Do you find it peculiar that I would show such concern for the girl? Well, I'm the one that found her, a mere babe in the swamp of Aeonia. She is one of my dear daughters. But the rotting sickness erodes one's memory. I doubt that she remembers the first thing about me. Oh, I must be getting old. I didn't always worry so much. <laughs> This guy's fucking creepy. Now, all you need do is deliver the needle to Millicent. She's convalescing in the church atop the cliff just beyond Celia. Do so, and you shall receive a handsome recompense, of course. Now, she's convalescing. Okay, do so. Let's see if he's on the... Yeah, okay, he's marked on the map. Cool. All these motherfuckers respawn now. I wonder if I can go up here. I know you're supposed to get like these like levers to open those gates or whatever. Can't remember where all of them are. There's one up there, I think. I think they're in all these like towers. There's one up there. How the fuck do I get up there? What the hell is this? Ah, bacteria leaf. Interesting. Well, let me get this one first, because this one looks like it's the easiest to get. Um, maybe if I jump up here. Nope. Oh, shit. Yeah, it doesn't deal me too much damage, though. That's good. Like I've definitely out-leveled this sort of part of uh, Kaled, I think. But then I think I'm weaker than the other half of Kaled. Sorry, I didn't see your message. Eggless omelette. That's a big sword, not gonna lie. Not girthy, just big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. It's the length that counts. <laughs> I mean, I've got the I've got the Dragon Slayer too, which is more girthy, I guess. I've beaten Radon already. That was just like the title I, I wrote down before. I was like, what what would be a decent title for this fight? <laughs> But Radon's sword is definitely like girthier than than mine. Than mine. I like the Zwyander though. There's a dog as well. Fuck. Ugh, these things like keep coming out of the shadows, motherfuckers. How the hell do I get up here? I remember. You can jump on the roof somewhere here. Uh, maybe over here. Yes. Uh, I got off the horse because it wouldn't, it was like grayed out. Uh, there's a dude there. Okay, so I need to get up there. Oh, uh, I see this little golden seed over there. Oh, I see this one at the back there. So I guess that's where the last one is. So maybe it's not where I thought it was. Wait, why the fuck did I... My guy, like, locked onto something down there. <laughs> I see so I can use this thing to get across here, I guess. Just wanna see if there's any item down here. It doesn't look like it. Oopsie. Ah, fuck. Low ground is always better in souls like games. At least that's what I've found, like, whenever you have the high ground, you always, it's always, like, hard to hit enemies. Oh, so you have to just burn these torches, okay, cool. The seal was broken in the town somewhere, cool. I think there's actually another area later on, um, in the snow area. To also light like a bunch of torches and open doorways, if I remember correctly. Oops! Oh my god! Oh, cool. <laughs> okay. Um. Fuck. Can I get back up here? Uh no. I might be able to. No, uh, maybe I can actually. Oh, okay, cool. I pressed the wrong button, like I, I started running instead of uh, Cerulean Tear Scarab. Cool. I think that's a helmet. Um, where did I want to go? I got that one. I think there's one over there and then there's one over there. Can't see anything down here. Uh, Let me get the one at the back first. Oh shit, is that actually an Ash of War up there? Oopsie. I think it is. How would I get that uh, It's so awkward. 
Um, let me let me light the torch first before I try to get that. I think I got quite a lot of these stone sword keys. Actually, I want to check the key items. I can't remember. Yeah, I got 11. Oh, I actually have one of these. Forgot about this. Should actually go use it. Still need the Dectus medallion, another like half, I think, actually. It's supposed to be in Kaled somewhere. I think it's above. Oh fuck! God, <laughs> I didn't expect my guy to like to to do that. Like mount backwards, unmount backwards. Because I wanted to, I wanted to get off my horse, so I could use the, the blade. Oh wow, that fucking has failed. Oh, he actually teleports. Motherfucker. Did I not? Oh, I got him. Cool. Double slash. Okay, cool. Oh, shit. No, how do I... How do I get back up? I guess I'll have to start from the bottom again. Some of these doors might be open now because I did. I have pulled two levers, so there might be some. What's that? Oh, it's a guidance of. It's a grace thing. Okay, cool. There's a chest here. Spell Drake Talisman plus one. Cool. I think that gives magic resistance. I already have one, so I guess now I've got a stronger one. So the other one is up there. Uh, that door's still like locked over there. So maybe that's what the last one opens. Okay, so I think I got this one. Let me see if this other one opened. Oh, shit. These two are like annoying that you can't just see them. And it's like I find it difficult to this why I under to fight um, on the horse. It's like very like clunky. It's like super slow. Oh cool, here's the other one. Night comet. Cool. Guess I can get uh, I can get rid of this one. Uh If I say remove all markers, is that going to remove all the markers on the map? Because I don't want that. But now I see. I've, oh, there we go. Cool. Okay, so this one I haven't. Op I haven't found that one there. Though. Okay, I got this painting already. So let's see at the back here. Like I think there was a closed door behind back at the back here as well. Yeah. Nice. I'll read the comment just now. Oh nice. I think this is the last one I need. Because I've already found the first one you find at the place, and then the other ones 
So I should be able to do all of those things now. Night Comet needs 38 intelligence. One of the night sorceries of Celia, town of sorcery, fires a semi invisible magic comet. The sorcery can be cast repeatedly and while in motion, charging in answers potency. The Celian sorcerers were assassins, and it is said that they often hunted their fellows. Oh, so they're like mage hunters. Cool. It's like the anti mage squad. Jump up here, I wonder. Ah, good. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I'm struggling with this guy. I was like trying to be fancy, but then it's like it failed completely. Okay, so how do I. Okay, so I can't get up here. I have to. Oh shit. Maybe I do have to go back up kind of the same way. Uh, actually, maybe I can go up here. So I think... I think there's another door here. Oh wait, it's open. Maybe... Maybe I don't need this last one, but I want to find all the stuff, so... Okay, I see I can go up here. Oh wow, this is an awkward one, though. Oh fuck. Shit. See there's an item up there as well. Okay, let's try this again. Maybe if I... It might be easier to go around. No, not really. Oh, uh, it might actually be easier to just jump across. Ah, fuck off. <laughs> it's like because that fucking guy was there. This, this guy, yeah. Wait, you guys. Gunstone Firefly. I think if I... Maybe if I jump across... Hmm. It's just an awkward... Oh, okay, cool. Need to get that item down there as well, but... I think I'll do this first and then go down there, get the item. Seal was broken in town somewhere. Well, I think it's right down there. So that was the last seal I could see. Staff of loss. Staff missing its glintstone, wheeled by sorcerers who believe that discovery comes through acts of asceticism. Not sure what that means. The staff only distinguishes itself when casting invisibility sorceries, but that is reason enough for some to wield it. Ah, oh, okay, cool. Um, so I think the door that opened is this one over here that I marked. Yeah. Oh, so it's actually a, f a boss. Huh. I didn't expect a boss fight here, but okay. Oh. 
Not sorceress, not monk. It's got a whip. Some sort of whip sword. Whoa, okay, I deal it a ton of damage. <laughs> so this is like a low, lowish level enemy then. <laughs> Jesus. Man, who needs Gareth when you got the power of Jesus? Okay, I'm definitely over leveled here. Oh. Nox Flowing Sword, cool. Oh, there's actually a chest here as well. Cool. I don't really want to rest here because then all the fucking mages are going to respawn. Lissat's Gunstone Star. Okay, so what was the first thing? It was some sort of sword that I picked up. Or a whip. This thing, Nox Flowing Sword. That's just a curved sword. Whoa, that's a weird looking sword. A grim weapon wielded by swordmen of the Eternal City. This chattel has a blade as fine as a needle. Forged from the liquid metal of a silver tear, it is thoroughly tempered until hardened. Okay, cool. Oh, I see, you can transform it into a liquid form, and then it's a whip. Okay, cool. And then what was the other one? Some sort of staff. Some dude stuff. Stuff of the primeval glimstone sorcerer is set. Only those who have glimpsed what lies beyond the wisdom of stone may wield it. Enhances powerful sorceries but consumes additional FP. Okay, cool. Needs 52 intelligence though. So I've got the other one as well, as your glimstone stuff. Also, if, okay, so I see they're, ex they're almost exactly the same, just different skins. Yeah, they are. They're literally the same. Just different name, different skins. Cool. I guess those guys are like some sort of mage hunters too then. Okay, so this was just a random boss here, but then I should be able to just go through... Maybe I didn't need to fight that, so it was like an optional sort of boss. Because this one was open already, so I guess I could have just run past you already. Well, I guess I can rest here then. I should actually go to the blacksmith to see if I can level up my weapon, but honestly my weapon feels like pretty strong already. So I don't think I need it right now. So I'll do that when I finish whatever's up here. Uh, is there anything up here? Looks like they've... Oh shit, what the fuck's shooting at me? Oh, it's an archer down there. Smack. Oh shit. Oh, okay, so this one's, this one's a little bit stronger, actually. A little bit more tanky. Let's try this again. Oopsie. Oopsie. I uh, wonder if I can actually get over there. No, that's a little bit too far, I think. Maybe I jumped too early, but that does seem like a little bit of distance. So maybe you can't go over there. Shit, might die. I could. Oh, uh, you know what? You could. No, but that's quite a high drop. I'll look from the top to see if there's anything up there, if I remember. What's this about? It's just, just a dead end. 
guess I have to guess I have to go this way oh there's a statue up there cool oh uh, shit this is this fucking whole thing I wonder if it spawns like in the graveyard as well. Doesn't look like it. Oh, there's a tree up there. Whoa, look at this giant skull. I think this is something I saw last time. It's like the holy when you charge your blade up like this. It actually the undead just stays dead, like dead immediately. You don't have to kill them. I didn't know it worked like that before. Like I knew in Dark Souls One it works like that. If you just had used uh, like a holy weapon or whatever. But in this one, I. I doesn't that like automatically do that unless you charge it up it seems this is so cool this like ginormous skull just reminds me of like I don't know like Nosh Noshka or something Nosika in the valley of the wind <laughs> that's like a really good uh, manga as well it's like the anime is um is good but the the movie or whatever but uh, that's only like a third of the story like the manga goes further and it's like I didn't know that until uh, until I sort of read up about blame and then the um, Satoma Nia said that he was like like that's one of his favorite sort of mangas I think in the Wikipedia at least it said something like that and it's like you can see it in his like newer stuff with like the Valley of the Dolls or Planet of the Dolls or Land of the Dolls or whatever it's called um, it's very similar to Ya Miyazaki's style of drawing much lighter like sort of line work and stuff like that So that's how I found the Nosh out about the Noshka manga. Can you hear something? Oh, it's just it's an enemy. Whoopsie, this thing is dicking me. <laughs> Alright, the Fallout uh, series is supposed to come out today. Or not, I don't know. For us it's like tomorrow at 3 a.m. But it's technically today, I guess. <laughs> it looks pretty good, I'm keen to see it. Oh fuck. Did not expect it to be so strong. Just like refresh my chat again. I keep like feeling like I'm missing messages because I'm looking at my phone. I feel like the stuff like times out. Yeah, I really like that. I think it's cool. Okay, so I think that woman is here. Millicent. Like, I finished her quest line in my first playthrough. <laughs> Sounds like she's crying. Maybe she's dying. Sacred tear. Maybe it's her tears. Oh, that's interesting. Why can't I go up here? Wait. Oh, yeah. Just hold on, let me just get my waypoints.
who's there? Well, it matters not. If you are wise, you will leave immediately. My flesh writhes with scarlet rot. It is a curse. Not to be meddled with by man. You ask that I stab myself with the needle to quell the scarlet rot. But how? <laughs> Never mind. I've decided I would rather trust you than simply continue to spoil from within. Would you mind averting your eyes for a moment? easier than expected. But, but why do I feel so... Jack passed out now. It's weird that you have the option to tell her, like, not like not to give her the needle. Like, like, why? <laughs> You're just like, yeah, no, sorry, bitch, just fucking suffer. <laughs> it's just, like, such a strange, like, choice for me, like, why would you not want to save her? Very strange. Maybe I'm the strange one. Oh, I see, now she's just, like, standing there. Cool, I can increase my, my healing thing now. I hoped to see you again. My apologies for when last we met. I fainted before I could even thank you. Everything is as you said. Since inserting the needle, the scarlet rot has ceased to writhe. Even the nightmares have abated. And now, though I can scarcely believe it myself, I can move as I please. Not that I could ever truly repay you, but I would like you to have this by way of thanks. A token though it is. Prosthesis wears heirloom. Okay. So it's like the rot wife here. I'm considering <laughs> leaving. On a journey. With the needle buried in my flesh. I've started yeah, to recall. Like that. But dimly, my destiny is all thanks to you. My name is Millicent. I pray fate permits us meet again. I'm considering leaving the needle bury my destiny. I'm not a fan of like needles. Okay, let me see if what are Raises dexterity. Oh cool. So it just gives plus five dexterity, that's cool. The talisman engraved with a scene from a heroic tale raises dexterity. Okay. So what's that? Just like two guys fist bumping. <laughs> it's like, cool sword, bro. Thanks, bro. Though born into the accursed rot when the young girl encountered her mentor and his flowing blade, she gained wings of unparalleled strength. Oh, okay, so it's her and I guess someone else. Whoever taught her how to fight or whatever. So what now? If I rest will she just go away? Yeah, she fucking does too. Doesn't even say goodbye. It's like, bitch, I healed you. <laughs> okay, um... I only have one of these. That's so weird. Because I've got 17 of these. What do I want to do now? I guess I just need to go and explore more up here because I still need to get this so oh uh, actually I can I can get rid of this marker over here. Uh you know what, I can probably go talk to this dude, but I see now he's gone. He's not there anymore. Or at least it doesn't show him on the map. So I must I think I can just go this way to get up here. Cause there's like a gap but when you try and go across the air, there's like a gap here. How much? Uh, oh, I need like eleven thousand. 
I might have enough uh, ruins, sort of stone things. Uh, no, I don't actually. I've been using them, so that's oh, fine. I'm just kind of right around. You're gone pissed. I think I should mark this just so I don't like forget to go check there. So I get sidetracked like very easily. That's for Don's castle. Uh, and that's the map part, so... Doesn't look like there's anything else here specifically. Uh, is this one of these star things I was just complaining about? Yes, it is. Cool. Uh, I wonder... I wonder if these things only spawn the star things once... Once you defeat Radon, because he, um... He keeps the stars at bay or whatever. Curious to check because he had one of these things at his castle as well. And it didn't have one of those things, I think, at the time. So it'd be interesting to see if that is how it works. Uh, it's the, this dude. But I've already found it, it's down there. And I think this is actually the painting thing somewhere. Maybe down there on that ledge there. If I remember, mm, I don't know, I'll see. Can I get down here at all? No, it doesn't look like it. This looks like a death trap. Might, mm, no. Oh, where the fuck? Sneaky skeleton. Shatter. Trying to see if I can jump down here, but this it looks too I think on that side I might be able to, but over here it looks too high. Subland of this. Oh, there's actually a there's actually a thing you can jump up to. Cool. I still need to go and restore Radon's ruin as well. Oh, what's this guy? See? Whoa, he's got like a big explosion. Fuck. Oh, I thought I'd get some sort of special item from him. Beast blood. It's kind of weird, it looked like almost like a battle mage type dude. Because he was like wielding a club type of thing. So I find it interesting. No, okay, so this is the dead end here. So I guess I do have to go up this. Uh, this is the only way. It's the only way. Oh, uh, there's a skeleton warrior. What is this? This looks like a weird... Oh, okay, no, it's not. It's just normal. It looked like a skeleton-type warrior I haven't seen yet. Whee! Whoa, that's cool. Grail's Dragon Burrow. Okay, uh, I see. This ginormous dragon. Like I remember it, it summons a bunch of yeah, I was gonna say. It doesn't summon them, but it like wakes up all these other dragons. Let me ignore it, no, that for now. I don't know if it's a quest or something. Because I think last time you can like kill this like dragon here, but 
don't know if you can also do some sort of quest for it, like if you maybe eat a bunch of hearts or something, maybe you can talk to it or some shit. Maybe that's just wishful thinking. So there's so many hidden like things in this game that you can easily miss. I think this is the, actually the keep I'm looking for. The one with the Dictus, um... Wait, why is my room... Oh, right, I died. I died there. Still need to go fight that thing. Oh, there's a tree there, and... If I remember correctly, this, uh... Cave of uh, this fort was quite strong, like the enemies in here were quite strong. Fort Faroth. Yeah, I see, it's like... Yeah, and they give like 800 experience, so this is definitely a higher level area. It's a dark here, wow. That's the poison. Try avoid the poison. Wow, this thing is like so strong, what the hell? Siren. Take my heart and set it free. <laughs> I was hoping to get a crit there, but uh, I was I ran out of stamina. Okay, Yoso. I did not expect so much damage. Whoa. Wow. That's, that was so strong, holy shit. So I can kill them easily, but they can also kill me, like, really easily. That's crazy. Okay, let me not lose all my ruins, because I think I could have leveled up. Bat out of hell. I need to try fight them like one at a time. I need to try also avoid the the grab, but it's like I don't really know the 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 tell or whatever. Doesn't look like you can crit these dudes. Because whenever I've tried, it's like it doesn't look like it actually crits them. It's like you just swing like a normal attack, so I, I don't know if I can actually crit them. Let's use my shield. Oh, you know what, it might fall off because I'm poisoned. Oh, maybe I'm not poisoned. No, I am poisoned. It's weird that they're not singing in here. Let's see. Hey man, it looks it really does look like I can't actually... That I can't get a crit on, on these specific enemies. Golden Rune 9. It's quite a high level... High level rune. Maybe I should go level up first before I do this. Ugh, that's fine. Oh, uh, cool. Well, there, I got the thing. Now I can go up the elevator. But I'll probably go to Nokron uh, before I do that. Whoa. 
trees close by. So I can jump down in here. Is that, that's like the only way I, place I can go. Oops. I remember correctly, there were like these ghost illusion dudes that spawn here. And they were like really strong as well. They're similar to like the ones you fight in that uh, dungeon that I tried just after doing Radon. That I haven't finished yet. So I need to go back there still because there was a boss there that I felt like I was doing too little damage to it. And it was doing too much damage to me, so... Actually. These enemies are easy to fight when they're just one-on-one. -on -one. So you can just knock them down very easily with this weapon. But they also hit very hard, I think. like an item out here? No? So it's just a way to get down to the bonfire. Okay. Well, I can get this uh, ladder here. Oh. Oh, I didn't even notice that guy. So you're gonna come down? Oh, yeah. Even the rat doesn't do any damage. What? Fucking godlike rats, man. <laughs> Dude. The rat's like too low for my attack. Because you can see this from the from the bottom, you can see down uh, to the ground here. That's a little really irritating. At least I can hit this rat. I think this is the only thing that's here, actually. Radagon Source Seal. Oh, uh, cool. I think that's an upgrade for the one I'm already using. I wonder if I can use both of them. Greatly raises attributes, but also increases damage taken. Guess it lowers my armor by... Like, three points, maybe? Let's see if I can combine the two. Two fingers, heirloom, that's a faith one. There's FP consumer skills. Oh, I can't, you can't combine them, okay. So I have to use... So it gives me plus two to all the stats that the Radagon one gives me already. <laughs> Well, that's cool though, it's it's really strong, so I'm just going to use it. Too bad you can't combine that. I guess that would be too, like, OP. Sorry, I was just checking... Uh 
shit thing. Then it's like paranoid of like missing messages. Okay, cool. So now I've got the medallion here. So I can go back to the Dictus elevator. Can I actually jump down here? I feel like this is too high. Well, let's see. Too late now. Should be able to level up. Um, so... Oh, this actually raises my damage by two points then. I think I am going to just take up my faith to 40. Because then if I find any faith weapons at any point, I should be able to use them. I don't think there's anything else around. I mean, there's the tree there. And there's probably a cave or something. Oh, no. I was just like, oh shit. Oh shit. Um, don't want to fight them on the horse. That's some extreme damage you got there, bro. <laughs> oh, fuck. So I deal damage quite a lot as well, actually. So it's like we're both like glass cannons. So what was that about? That was so weird that they like spawned down here, because there's nothing here, right? So it's literally just like a trap. I'll be able to get down over there by that ledge over there. Um, I need to actually mark this dragon. Just mark him with like a skull. Just to like remember that he that he's here. And I think the Church of Dragon Communion is over there somewhere as well. I should be able to just jump down here. I'm wondering if there's a cave down here or if it's only the cave that's at the bottom. <coughs> oh, so it's a bat. It is. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, man. <laughs> that's so creepy. Fuck. Why is this bat here? It's like a high level one or something. That's so strange that he's just like just chilling there. Is this the same as the thing that you get like right at the start, which are like they're actually Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's so funny because you get these like they're usually like blue items that you can get from certain corpses. Dark red leaves with thick swollen veins, material used for crafting. Okay, exceedingly rare to find. A faint pulse can be felt in the vein, stirs the blood, providing an enlivening effect. Weird, I wonder... Like... Because I found many of them just on corp, like, as items that are, like, shiny items or whatever. But then, sometimes you just literally just find them, like... Like, on the ground or whatever, and it's like... Yeah, you know, I don't know, it just seems so strange. This is probably an, uh, it says putrid, so it's probably one of the ones that can do the...
I find these like easier to fight like uh, like this. Except when he does this because this course is quite a rut. But uh, yeah, it didn't, didn't happen. Oh, cool. There's at least a stick of America. I could hear lightning behind me. So we. Oh, there he is there in front. Cool. It's going to leave the ruins. So you have 10,000. to heal, yeah, whatever. I fucked up. That's all it comes down to. Stance breaking. Ah, uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to put on my torch. Uh, lantern. It's like really like throw me throw me off where damage is so like high. Oh fuck I'm stuck here. I'm trying to get like just a good vantage point. Or like what what do you call it? Like fight point? <laughs> scared that like when I run away um, that I'm gonna fall off of, like a ledge or something. Ugh, rolled much too early there. Fuck. Almost fucked up there. I think he's too strong for me honestly. Like I can I can beat him but I feel like I'm also take like too way too much damage from him. And I don't deal him enough damage. Just paranoid.
can't believe I haven't broken his place once. But... I guess I need to use like jump attacks, but I find the jump attacks like really awkward to use. Is such a like clusterfuck. I wanted to heal, but I wanted to wait. now as well. Shit. <laughs> oh my god, that was such a risk. Like if I if I had taken like just a little bit too long, I would have you would have smacked me. Fuck me. <laughs> Opaline heart tear, stone barb crack tear. Cool. Yeah. I think this is zero souls. Um. Oh, I wonder where the... I wonder where the, the grace thing is here. Maybe it's... maybe there isn't one here. Maybe it's up here. Uh, there's some sort of lightning shit. Over there. Oh, it's these flowers. Fulgur bloom. I wonder if they actually kill you if you... Dead dragon here, I wonder if this is the dragon communion face. Huh? Huh, guess not. Uh, 
Uh, it says acquire materials. Toxic mushroom. I wonder what that's up there. I can't remember that. Oh, yeah, it's one of these things. Oh, there's a sign of Christ on there. Cool. How the fuck do I get down here now? Don't see a windy thing. Oh, there's one here. Cool. There's a graveyard. Hopefully it's the void of skeletons. So I get one shot at. Hangman's tree. Oopsie. Sup eagles. Bird be gone. Whoa, 90,000 runes. What the fuck, is that thing really worth like 90,000? That's crazy. Well then I might be able to level up more than once. And if I get a few runes, I only need like 4,000 and I can level up again. <laughs> 7,000, that's too high. Maybe this one. So I need about 500, maybe 400. Let's try 400 and see if that's enough. I don't think it is, but let's check. Breaking ruins the game. Cool, so then I just need one more point and it'll probably take up endurance. But actually, now that I've got the stronger Radagon's seal, I might be able to at least put on bit, like better pants. Godric soldiers. That seems to be the best ones I can get, for like poise at least. Yeah, so they are definitely the best ones I can get at the moment. Let's see if my... No, that's AV loaded. Okay. Okay, so I will need more... Uh... Honestly, I like how I look though. I think this is a cool like look. I am the Dragonborn. So what's up with this thing? Lin's Tower. I mean, if the imps are broken, maybe you just have to jump up. Uh, you know what? I could probably use this wind, wind thing to boost me up. Yeah, that seems plausible. Wee. Um, I fucked up. It definitely seems plausible. I just need to find a place where it's. Like, I need to just find the place where you're supposed to go up, or in. Maybe if I go around like this. Uh -huh. uh, I probably need to go higher then. Oh, shit. <laughs> Broke some shit inside, it's funny. 
Ah, fuck. Okay, wait, let me, let me check if, uh, maybe like, maybe it needs to be like right here actually. So I think I'm like over, con like making it more complicated than it used to be. Okay, but now I'm on top of the roof. So let's see, I should be able to just fall down here. Oops, there we go. I want to check downstairs first to see if there's anything in the main room. Oh, I see it's one of these things. I guess Len turned into a star seed. Oh, that actually stunned it. <laughs> oh, he's got a ton of HP, what the fuck? Even your star gas. Okay, there we go. Oh, it didn't give me anything. Okay. Guess we'll check what's up upstairs. I wonder if this will also just be a memory stone because I've gotten like seven already and I'm not using spells. So if every single one of these is just a memory stone, but I'm sure I got a staff or something or a spell from one of them. I don't know, it is. So I've got like eight memory stones now, I think. Or at least slots. Okay, cool. Oh, I think, I guess I could become like a spell slinger type dude if I really want to, at any point. Okay, let's see. I wonder if there's anything underneath this actually. Oh, uh, it's just the way down. <laughs> it's funny. Okay, cool. I think I could go down here, actually, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, no. It's there by the tree, I think. Yeah, I think I'm too far now. Okay, so I need to go actually... See if I can mark it. Let's go over here somewhere. So I'm wondering if this is like an alternative way to to get across the bridge here. So I can see I can run up there on the side here. <coughs> and there's like a dragon on the bridge. Well, on the bridge up there. I probably do need more dragon art stuff if I want to try just learn the spells. But I'll do that eventually. I feel like the enemies here are like much higher level than me. Does that mean there's like these vulgar dudes here? <laughs> Whoa, and they're also like very strong, strong ones. Okay, the damage is not too high. Okay, the damage is a little bit higher. Overhead slash. I'll 
also... Oh, actually I don't, I'm out of mana. Where's the other one? I thought there was... There he is. Oh, there's, there's actually two of them. These guys are so small, it's like without the overhead swing, it's like they much harder. Uh, well, I'm poisoned now already, anyway. Let's break all of these things. Having fun in the poison gas. I guess I don't have enough. I guess I don't have a, a lot of like holy resistance. <laughs> Jesus. That's crazy, it deals so much damage. Oh fuck, what the fuck? That was weird. I thought I would hit him, but then it's like I hit the poison gas thing instead. Here. Might have to just run past these guys actually. I need to get the map, it's still like, oh, it's like over there. What is this? Oh, it's the fucking bestial sanctum, man. I also have been there before. It's just that it's been like such a long time since I portaled there that I was like just. Like, uh, it's just oblivious to it. <laughs> Fuck. At least now I know where I'm going. What is this? Nothing, really. Strange. Oh, look, it's like corpses of beast dudes. Can you jump up this? Okay, so it's actually just... It's like a Deck on Titan type of shit. It makes the wall stronger. <laughs> oh, is this a... Oh, it's a Grace thing that I don't have. Cool. Replenish my like potions because I those vulgar dudes like really like drained the shit out of my potions. So there's some more over there. Really need to get this map though. Man. Okay, so there's more of them. Oh, I see. There's actually a golden seed there in front. Let's go see. Don't really want to fight these guys. They're so awkward to fight. With this weapon, anyway. So I'm just gonna run past them. Golden seed. I wonder if that's enough now, because it's been a while since I've last upgraded my potion cones. I don't see anything else. I think I have one death route for that guy that I haven't given him, like, it's been a while. Because I wanted to, like, save them up and then go back to him when I had, like, mini... Oh, there's a star thing again. Cool. Okay, let me just 
run past this. There's actually a gargoyle thing up there, I think. I'm not sure if I'm strong enough to fight it. So these enemies feel a bit like over leveled for me. Oh, too strong for me or whatever. At least their damage is very high. And they're very tanky. So maybe if I go, because I should be able to upgrade my weapon, so maybe if I do that, I might be able to come back here and like beat the shit out of them, but... Oh, there's a tower in the distance thing. Oh, and there's a waterfall that just goes off the edge. So it's like the edge of the world. <laughs> oh, I see there's actually shit down there. I wonder if I can get down there then. Might be able to. does look like I might be able to get down there because, I mean, if the stuff's there, then usually it means you can get there. It's like a massive drop there. Uh, maybe over there. Yeah, I could probably jump onto this tree park thing. It's a bit creepy. Let's try and see if there's any better way to do this. I'll probably try to fight that thing as well. I don't know if that thing is attacking me or. Uh, no, it's probably these motherfuckers. Uh, no, I definitely have to. I think I really have to fall into that route if I want to try to get there. I'm curious to, like, I wonder why these guys are here then. I wonder if they're part of this dude's, like, maybe they're just mercenaries. remember how this thing fights black blade kindred okay it does seem like I'm a bit low level for this I'm not dealing in a lot of damage oh shit oh whoa okay 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 <laughs> yes I got fucking dicked wow yeah, it does feels like it's too high level for me. It's mostly because I'm dealing it so little damage. Um, I could probably just tell... Yeah, I could probably just uh, portal there or whatever. I just want to get the ruins, but... Uh, You. Oh, that's cool, so, uh, so you could probably just cheese it like this if you had like range weapons and stuff, but I want to reset it because I'd prefer to just fight it straight up. Let's talk to this guy, I might have one or two extra ruins things for him. Oh, I can actually talk to him. Oh, uh, no, I can't. I only have one. Sated, feed me more. Death. Bestial sling. Okay. More feed. Okay, cool. I know what that is. Is that like another spell? Yeah, it is. Swiftly flings numerous sharp rocks. Shards. Incantation taught by Guran, the beast clergyman. 
It is said that in the time before the earth tree, stones were the first weapons of the beasts who had gained intelligence. Okay, cool. Okay, well, let me see if I can jump down this, uh, this pit before I move on. I mean, there's a bunch of flowers here, so they are kind of guiding you in this direction. And the birds are here. Where's the best place to jump down here, though? It's like it's like an awkward angle to to try and see. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! <laughs> I feel like you should be able to jump down there. But maybe it, maybe I'm at the wrong place. Like maybe it's not by these specific routes, but maybe... Uh, maybe this one, man. This one looks like it's much closer. Yeah, this one looks like it's right here. How could I have missed this one? Yeah, look at that. Okay, now I should be able to... I feel like the horse is a little bit too... skittish... to do this. I guess I could just fall into this like roof. Yeah, cool. So that's right, you can get down here. But then, how do you get back up? <laughs> so does it just go further down, or is it literally just up here and then... Or maybe there's an item over here somewhere? Oh wait, did I run past it? Sanctuary stone. If there's a sanctuary stone there, does that mean this is the pillar I'm supposed to look at, or I wonder? Is that really all that's here? Oh wait, there's a. There's a bat there, a gargoyle, or whatever. Huh. Doesn't really seem worth it just to get the sanctuary stand there. Oh wait. Oh no, wait, there's there's more shit down there. So I'll look it down there. Maybe I have to jump onto this and then fall down there and then jump across. Nice one. Jump straight down there, actually. Oh, there's another sanctuary stand on there, so should be able to. Don't know if this is going to like kill me. Yeah, it did. Fuck. There's more sanctuary stands down there, though. Weird.
this and that one down there, so... Hmm. Huh. Well, maybe I do have to... Maybe I do have to jump onto that and then jump across. This looks a bit closer. Try one more time, and then if I fail, I'm just gonna leave it. Ah, shit. Press the wrong button. So convinced there was a view. We. 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 Maybe jumping across, like, to that one is like the best way to do this. That's where my ruins are now, but no, it's fine. Should be able to just jump across like this, yeah. Maybe like this. There we go. Rune fragment, okay. See there's another stone there. Maybe that's like to tell you that's where you're supposed to go, but let me just check if there's any type of item here. Oh, there's actually. Soft cotton. Mm. What does that do? I wonder if that actually decreases falling damage. Should check. Maybe that is what it does. Oh, shit. Horse really likes this wall. <laughs> That's such a like lazy swing. It's like, yeah, fuck you. There was another thing that I saw here. Let me check the soft, soft cotton just to see if it temporary yeah it does actually reduce fall damage. Okay, oh, here it is. Let me see if I can, if I go to that, the one where there's a stone uh, or whatever. I think it was this. Oh, no, it's actually further. Oh, it actually goes further down, no? It goes further down quite a lot. Um, okay, well, let me use one of the soft cottons. I don't know how it works. I haven't really used it before. So let's see if I can just jump down over here. Should be able to. What is 
that. Oh, it's a uh, knight of swords. This is an elevator. Synquitia. So it's, it's like a dagger. I wonder if I can break through this. Short sword given to high ranking clergyman of Farum Azula raises potency of bestial incantations. The design celebrates a beast's five fingers, symbolic of the intelligence once granted upon their kind. And as quick step. Okay, cool. I guess that's what was down here because I don't think I can go further down. I might try just to see, but. That kind of seems like the... Oh, there's actually something else. Like what the point of this place was. Dragon Crest Shield Talisman. Boost physical damage negation. Oh, wow. Whoa. By like nine. That's very strong. I think that's stronger than the Carrion. Carrying one. Will make me. No, it will not make me. Cool, that will make me like more tanky, that's cool. Wrought Iron Talisman depicting an ancient dragon boosts physical damage negation. The ancient dragons who ruled in the prehistoric era before the Earth Tree would protect their lord as a wall of a living rock. And so it is that the shape of the dragon has become symbolic of all manners of protection. Oh, cool. I actually think I've read that before because I think I've read one of these other ones. Okay, cool. Okay, well, let's see. That's probably the only thing that's here then. But uh, let me see if I can actually go f down further than this. So I don't have a lot of ruins now, so it doesn't really matter. So I can jump down here. No. <laughs> okay, so that, that was as far as I could go. Cool. Okay, I want to try to get the map. That's probably the main thing, and then I want to see... So I've got that. So I need to get this map here. So what's the best way? Probably this. And then I want to check that shack with where the guy, Millicent's like father figure dude, where he was at. Okay, so I can just go this way. I wonder if I can ride on top of this dragon. No, you can't. Oh, so he's like literally an invisible wall. <laughs> bunch of other dragons. I wonder if you can talk to him or... Never mind. Guy seems a bit angry. If I ever needed dragon hearts, I guess I know where to get them. Wow, there's so many of them here. Oh, I still need to do this tower as well. 
Maybe that's what I'll do after I get this map. Oh, there's a item. Gravel stone. Okay. I think I thought I saw a grace thing. Oh, this is actually called Dragon Burrow. <laughs> cool. I know there's like a. I think there was a Dragon Communion Church over here somewhere, but no. It's this, but this looks like one of those uh, jail things. Maybe that? No, that's the tower. And that's the Colosseum. I need to mark this actually. It's like a PvP thing. Maybe it's this up here, but I think it's. It was like over here somewhere. Mm. <laughs> See, there's some dogs up there. It's not like down here, right? Maybe it's that, like, way in the distance, but... No, I don't think it would be. Okay, well, let me... Let me go to this jail thing. See if, uh, if I can beat it. Then I think I'm gonna go up the tower, because I need to... Oh, shit, here's one of these things. I can't break this. I need the... Like a, Dragon to come break it for me. Oh, there's a dragon here. Hello. I wonder if you'll actually be able to get over the tiny wall. Break this <laughs> this thing over here. Welcome to Kaled, everything's big. Celia Everjail. Does that mean it's a mage type thing? I wonder. Is 
So we had no like hearing the rain here. There it is. That's all made you goose. Maybe this is the guy I was fighting where I saw a Millificent or whatever. Okay, he's not very strong compared to the other enemies I've faced here. Battle Mage UQS Quiz. However, you say that. Okay, let me read his lore stuff. Maybe it says something about him. Hughes came from Celia to study the Hyma Conspectus at the academy where he became a battle mage. Hyma scholars seek to quell conflict with cannon fire and the gavel, but Hughes developed a longing for it. Huh. Okay. That stopped raining. Yay. Man, I'm so confused. Like, I really thought there was a. Uh, maybe it's on top of the skull there. But no, but I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Like, maybe it doesn't look like a building. Maybe it's literally just a. like a, a dead dragon somewhere. So maybe it is up there then. I'm gonna backtrack a little bit because I want to see if I can learn any sort of dragon powers. Because the dragon church I could f that I know the, the island one you find right at the start. That one only had three powers, and they're they're kind of mid. I've already learned one of them, and it's like a very slow um, ability. That's why I'm not really using it. It also didn't really deal a lot of damage, but uh, maybe that was just because I didn't have a lot of faith at the time. Maybe it is up here, actually. Because there's the dragons over here. There's a bunch of dead guys up here. Smithing stone, key, more smithing stones. Cool. Okay, well, this is a good vantage point. Hmm. Huh. No, fuck, I don't know. It's because you would assume it's at this ginormous dragon, but. From what I could tell, it's not here at all, so... So maybe it's like on the other side, like on this side somewhere. There's one of those telescope things there. This dragon looks angry. Okay, well, I'll come back to that at some point. Let me go to the tower then. Is it this tower? Actually, I saw I could go down at the bottom here. so angry. Maybe it's that. Huh. Uh, my torch is not on. No, this looks a bit sketchy. Let me go the other way around. Uh -huh. 
nothing. That's weird. Hmm. Okay. Oh, well, whatever. It's fine. I'll do it. I'll try to find it at a different time, or I'll Google it at some point. If I really can't, like, find it. You guys are too slow, man. <laughs> oh shit, it's a dropping off. Let's not do that. There's a pathway like that was kind of going down to the bottom of the tower. Or at least uh, further down. I want to see where that goes. Thus, yes. Ah, it's some sort of round table. A rune arc. Somber smithing stone. Okay. Dragon wound grease and a tertia leaf. Okay, cool. There's like the earth tree in the distance. Um, this looks like a dead end. There's the arena over there. I'm playing offline, but I think there's a pot, there's a ginormous pot dude there that gives you like some sort of quest to fight his warriors or something. Can't remember what you get from it. Oopsie. There's nothing over here. Well, let me go up to the tower then. So I want to try and um, complete uh, the Ruin of Radon. And then I think, uh, I think once I've done that, I'll probably exit, call it. But if, I think there's a thing I that I didn't find last time when my first playthrough where you fight like a godskin uh, noble <laughs> shit might be better to get off fuck no no <laughs> oh shit it's exploding somber smithing stone 8 wow that's like a high level one I don't think I even have like a 5 or a 6 yet unless I pick them up now I wasn't really paying attention to all the stuff I picked up. How do I get across here? Guess I have to jump down there. I see there's a ladder. Jump down there, and then I can go across there, or I can go there, I see there's a ladder there. So let's go to this one. Oh, shit. Uh, might be better to not use the horse here. I say that, but then... Let me not lock onto this guy. So I can jump across there. Up to that. <laughs> no, it doesn't look like he's climbing off to me, so that's fine. Oh, there's another ladder over here, cool. I can go across there, there's another ladder there. Let's see where this ladder goes first, and then if this one's a dead end, I'll come back down and go across there. 
Maybe I don't even have to go down. Maybe I can literally just jump across, fall down onto that. This seems to be... Yeah, I think I can actually fall down here. It's a little bit of a risk, the Oops. Oh, this guy's quite tanky, actually. So I can go across there, or so on. Both ways seem like they could work. The other way seems a bit more dodgy though. Oh, actually. There's an item down there, I don't know if that's worth it. This is a dead end. I wonder if I can get up here actually. Yeah. trying to like test my fucking <laughs> Christ that might have been an easier way to go no maybe not the fucking waypoint here. Let's not fall down. Divine Tower of Caled. Cool. Uh, I like the music. The, the bells remind me of like Final Fantasy X. <laughs> when you enter the temple thing. Open the gates. Yeah, so last time, I think you can go downwards. And I completely missed that. And the way I saw that you could do this was when I, I watched through, like, Asmongold's playthrough. And then he, like, found it, and I was like, oh my god, I fucking didn't, like, I didn't, like, notice this at all. I didn't even look. I can't remember how you fall down, but I know there's a way to, to actually go down. And then there's uh, like a god skin noble at the bottom. It's like all of these drops look like they're much too high. test it next time. I'm not going to do that now, I just need to remember. I just want to complete the ruin and then maybe upgrade my weapon because I haven't been back to like the blacksmith and stuff for a while.
cool. Redon's Great Ruin. Nice. Radon was among the children of Renala and Radagon, who became demigod stepchildren after Radagon's union with Queen Marika. The Great Ruin burns to resist the encroachment of the Scarlet Rot. Its blessing raises maximum HP, FP, and stamina. Cool. Okay, let me. Um, let me mark this. It's like a boss symbol, and then. Let me teleport to uh, Blacksmith. I haven't been back to these people in a long time. Surprise, this guy's still here. Well then. May the golden orb. Ah. Has that really changed anything? I wonder if this guy's still alive. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, well, let me just upgrade my my weapons and stuff. Oh, and I can also give a bell to the bell bearing woman. Well, I took you for no matter. Lay out your arms. Oh wow, I've got enough. Cool. Oh, I've got enough for you and another one. Nice. Oh shit, and then I got so I could upgrade three times. That's gonna boost my damage by a lot. That's good. Isn't there a lift? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if there's a lift actually. I'll I'll check it out next time though. I'm gonna just upgrade my weapon now and then probably log out. I think I've been playing for quite a long time. So. No. How could his father has it now? Okay, so this hasn't changed at all. Now I've been... so now my weapon's gonna be quite strong, so maybe those enemies won't be as... difficult anymore. Um... what's the other thing? I wanted to... talk to the finger people. Uh, and I wanted to give this thing the bearing, bell bearing thing. So now I can buy level 1 somber. Oh, and level 2 actually, cool. I always get like mixed around like where they, like in this in this place. Let's talk to this thing. <sighs> so I can get Oh, so I can get his arrows, so I can get Radon's armor as well. I was born a champion's cub. Now I am the lord of the battlefield's lion. Okay. Golden Lion is said to symbolize Godfrey, the first Elden Lord, and his beast region, Sarush. From his youngest years, Radon was naturally captivated by the Lord of the Battlefield. Okay, Radon inherited the furious flaming red hair of his father, Radagon, and is fond of its heroic implications. I should be able to... Radon earned considerable renown as the Star Scourge in his youth, and it is said that it was during this time he engraved the gravity crest upon these blades. Okay, cool. So these are intelligence weapons actually, like a little bit. Mostly strength though. 
Imbued with gravitational power of the Star Scourge, when used along with Rodan's spear, it becomes a true weapon of a champion. Cool. Okay, cool. So what was the other thing I wanted to do? I think that was it. Yo, the map's like becoming very like overwhelming, honestly. Yeah, I think I'll teleport. No, no, it's not there. It's here. I think I'll just teleport back then and go from there next time. To uh. And then check if there is actually an elevator down, because maybe there is like literally an elevator that just goes down. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> I'm just gonna log out here. Cool. I'm getting like really strong now as well, so that's cool. And I've done most of Kaled, and I found the Dictus medallions. So I think uh, after I've done this tower, I'll probably go to Nokron or whatever to do the Rani sort of questline thing. And actually, Rogier's questline, I guess. Sort of semi. So yeah, so I'll just keep going from here. So cool, shot. Thanks a lot for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll check you on the next one. Shot and uh, cheers.